All right, everybody, it's Super Bowl Sunday, and I'm beginning at 10 a.m. to make the snacks because that's pretty much what we're gonna eat today. And I have a lot of things to make. So I'm gonna start with the taquitos. I did look at a couple different recipes, but I think I'm just gonna kinda wing it, which might not be a great idea, but I looked up a lot of different recipes to see, okay, what are people typically doing? A lot of them are different sort of recipes. So I'm gonna do black bean taquitos, and then I'm gonna do corn in there. I'm gonna put some seasonings in there. I'm also going to put some chipotle peppers, like in adobo, in there. Actually, you know what? Why don't we go over what I'm gonna do? for the entire day. So I'm doing wings, I'm doing corn dog little bites, I'm doing pizza bagels, which I forgot I'm doing, I'm doing sliders, I'm doing the taquitos, I'm doing hopefully little bean and cheese tacos, like mini tacos baked. I'm doing also jalapeno poppers, so we have a lot. So I'm gonna start with the black bean taquitos and I have the oven preheating right now. Alrighty, so I've got all these cans, so I'm gonna do black beans, oh I need to rinse these, whoops. But I'm gonna do my electric can opener because I have quite a few cans I have to open today. Yeah, I just started using these. I've been kind of waiting for a moment to, to use them and they have like a great sort of like smoky, almost like barbecue flavor and they're spicy. So I'm gonna put some actually in here and I wanna put that sauce in as well. It's kind of like chipotle black bean. It's just gonna give it a lot of nice yum flavor, right Bill? Okay, so let's start to season this up. By the way, I also have Pioneer Woman over here <laughs> on my on my iPad. So here we go. Let's do, I'm gonna do black pepper. Like I said, I am winging this recipe right now. Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going with it. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of well, I don't really need smoked paprika, do I? I'm gonna do a little bit of all-purpose seasoning. It kind of has like a chickeny flavor to it, so I'm gonna put some of that in there. Oh, I'll do onion powder and garlic powder for sure, because I'm not putting any onion. I didn't want to cut up any onion. So let's stick with that for now, and then I'll pulse it up, and then we'll see how it tastes. No, stop. Ooh, smells really good. Those are freaking spicy. Okay, they need, oh my God. Holy shit, that's spicy. Mmm, something in there I don't like. I guess the black beans. And then I am gonna add some cheese. I don't know if I should add it now. Yeah, I think I will. I'm just gonna add it to here and then pulse it up. So let me get my tortillas going. I'm baking mine. I know a lot of people like to fry theirs but I'm just gonna bake mine. So, I think I should probably get these a little bit, heat them up a little bit more. Yeah, there, there is something a little odd about the taste right now. Like it doesn't smell weird, it's just sort of a strange taste. I don't know if it's because it's just a raw black bean right now. I'm hoping that's what it is because I'm kind of gambling. All right, yeah, these should be more workable, so here we go. How do I get these a little bit more like tighter? I don't know. I think I need to put them off center a little. Taquitos done. Some are rolled a little bit better than others. Like these are really good. So I started to get the hang of it. <laughs> but all right, I'm gonna spray this with a lot of cooking oil, each one. Just so they get super crispy. Throw these in. This is at 425. I'm gonna do it for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna turn them over. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do 10 minutes. And then I'll check them and see, because I've never made these before. The filling is gonna cook in the oven, so I think me tasting that, I was like, I think it was the black beans. I think they need to be they need to be cooked. It was kind of like 
but I think it'll be fine. So we'll see how they come out. I think I'm gonna make the filling now for the um, jalapeno poppers. So I've got my gloves on because I'm gonna do the jalapenos and I don't wanna get the seeds anywhere near me, but I'm gonna do the filling right now. So I have this recipe that I just looked up and it had five stars. It's called, it's from Spend with Pennies. I feel like I've made one of the recipes before. Okay, so I need to mix cream cheese, garlic powder, cheddar cheese, and chives in a bowl so i need six ounces of cream cheese this is i think eight ounces but i'm just gonna do this philadelphia plant-based i don't really like it but i did heat it up a little bit i really actually hate it it's not good i want kite hill one teaspoon of garlic powder and then let's see we need four ounces of sharp cheddar i don't know what four ounces would be two tablespoons of chives so i've got chives here actually you know what I'm not gonna use this. Hold on. I can finally use one of my kitchen tools. I've got, <laughs> I've got these uh, scissors, which are kind of perfect. Oh my god! Look at how awesome that is. I think my mother-in-law got me this. We pretty much just gift each other back and forth kitchen supplies. So, so I think that's everything. Yeah. Let me just kind of give it the old mix here. Oh. Let me flip these over. And some of them have broken apart. Actually, a lot of them have broken apart. Back to this. All right, I'm gonna continue to mix this and then I'm gonna wash all of the jalapenos and I'm gonna come back and start to fill them. I also need to do something with panko breadcrumbs and butter. got all the jalapenos uh, ready and prepped to go. So now I just need to do the panko. So I just melted a tablespoon of butter and then I need a fourth of a cup of panko breadcrumbs. And I just toss these together. These smell really good. Like insanely good. So let's start filling these. I think I'm gonna have a little bit too much filling. So I think that should be pretty good. All right, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of the panko breadcrumbs on. Actually, you know what? I'm probably gonna do the panko at the very end. So I'm just gonna go for it now. Just start an assembly line, pretty much. But I have a lot of stuff to make today. I'm like realizing that because this is kind of taking me a while. So I'm like, I gotta really turn on the, the boosters here. <laughs> I gotta turn the jets on. All right, so these are ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna put them in at 400 for about 18 minutes and then we'll check on them. But these are probably some of the best smelling things I've ever made. Oh my God, they smell so freaking good. Okay, I'm eating one of these right now. These are some of the most insane things, most flavorful, delicious things I've ever made. I put a lot of chili and adobo in there so they're really freaking spicy. But he's gonna love these because he really likes spicy stuff. They're really crunchy. Some of them came out better than others. I'm eating like a kind of a one that fell apart, but success of the day. I think I wanna do the pizza bagels next. All right, so I've got my ingredients out. So I've got pizza sauce right here. I've got some pepperoni and I've got some mozzarella and I have the mini bagels. But one of the recipes I just looked up said to toast the bagels first. They say that like they don't get as soggy. So I'm wondering if I should just kind of throw these in the oven right now with the jalapeno poppers for maybe like two minutes. Just get them sort of toasty. Would you look at that? That is perfect, actually. They're they're just barely toasted. All right, so let's just start to assemble. These are gonna be really, I think these should be pretty easy. I mean, the problem with these is that they're all kind of like appetizer food, so it's hard to get them to come out all at once. And so that for that reason, I'm just not gonna even try. I used to love pizza bagels, but I distinctly remember I would come home from school and you know, pop some in the microwave or whatever. Um, I think the instructions back then, I don't know if it's the same, but it wanted you to like turn the box upside down like you would microwave them on the top of the box or something but i just remember they would come out so hard like i would microwave them like way too much and i would basically be eating like it would be like a rock and then if you even took a bite of it it was like so freaking hot just put cheese on every single one i think that's good so i'm just gonna put some pepperonis on a couple of them let me spread this out a bit i'm only gonna do one i'm doing it on the ugly ones Alrighty, these are ready to go in. All right, next. So the jalapeno poppers are done and I'm just waiting on the pizza bagels. So 
I forgot I have so much stuff. I'm not making those mini tacos anymore because I just have way too much. So I'm gonna make these, I'm gonna make them actually in the, so these are the mini corn dogs and you just put them in for 350 for 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna start on these. So these I need to put in the air fryer, 400 for 10 to 12 minutes. And then I also have the mozzarella sticks, which I completely forgot about. It's a mess, guys, it's a mess over here. So I would say 400. 412 minutes. And the cheese does not really want to melt. But these are pretty much done. So I'm gonna take them out over there to the side. Okay, and then let me get out. I need to do the burgers, the sliders right now. These are the rolls, if you remember, right? And what people typically do, I was watching a bunch of videos, they like cut them. I think I'm gonna have to go get the griddle, which means I'm gonna have to make some space. All right, it's time to make the sliders. So. I am going to uh, put these in here and like kind of do a little bit of seasoning to them. I really want to like toast these somehow. So I think I'm just going to put them in the oven and toast them that way. All right, I think I got them. I'm just gonna pop these in, I think for about two minutes. I still have it at 400. The wings just came out, so I think I'm gonna toss those in some barbecue sauce while they're hot, and then I'm gonna put the these in, the holy veggies. So let me go do that really quick. So my plan is to shape it into little patties. Okay, I'm just gonna put all-purpose seasoning, honestly. Just gonna do that. And then I think I'll put a little bit of salt and pepper as well. Ew, ew. I also was thinking about making some burger sauce, like Big Mac sauce. All right, so I'm just gonna toss these. I just put the mozzarella sticks in. They don't take very long. They take about five or six minutes in the air fryer. So I'm just gonna toss these while they're still hot. So there's the wings. We've got a lot going on. All right, so I've got 12. So I need to make 12 tiny little patties. So I'm gonna just, I guess, form them. I think that one was a little bit big. I've seen some recipes that look really good where you, they kind of, uh, they like brush it with mustard. I feel like I would love that. I think I'm making these a little bit too big. Oh my God, look at this. Now that is a sear. That's freaking perfect. I also forgot that I, I want to butter those buns and put some sesame seeds on them. All right, I'm going to put some cheese on some of these. Jarvis doesn't really like cheese, so I'm not doing it on all. All right, guys, they're done. Let me do a little tour. Here's some black bean and cheese taquitos. I've got the jalapeno poppers. Right here, I've got pizza bagels. I've got the corn dogs, whatever. I've got mozzarella sticks, buffalo wings, and I've also got the sliders right here. So, reviews to come, but I need to heat this up again. Here's my plate. I've got a little bit of everything here. <laughs> so, I'm gonna do a taste test of each one. Jarvis says his favorite is the sliders or the taquitos. I've tried the mozzarella sticks, I love the mozzarella sticks. I'll eat one right now. Let me eat a wing. Wing. Mm, hard to go around there. Okay, let me try this bagel bite. I'm kind of curious about it, honestly. Mmm, I think that's really good. Mm -hmm. Do the corn dog. I think these are my favorite right now. Jalapeno popper here. Freaking hot, I just heated them up. Mmm, it's pretty good. They're better heated up. Did you have one heated up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. And then here's the taquito. Mmm. Actually, I think the taquito might be my favorite. 
Mm hmm Big coquito. All right, now I have to try the slider. I'm kind of nervous. I get nervous about just like meat. So I put a pickle and I put onions on here. And I put ketchup and mustard on here. Mmm. Honestly, it's all pretty good. This is kind of like my favorite food. I'm more of like an appetizer person, like a little bites person. So I think that's pretty good. Success. All right, we're done. That's a wrap on the Super Bowl food. So I'm making a liquid IV right now, by the way. But yeah, definitely taquitos were probably by far my favorite. I feel like that's just such a classic new recipe for me to use. They were really good. I thought baked. So, like I was kind of glad that I didn't have to fry them because I was really dreading having to like sit there and fry each and every one so i'm glad that the baking worked and a lot of the recipes i was looking at they're like just so you know if you don't fry them they're not going to be as crispy as they should be but they were fine they were literally fine yeah anyway that's pretty much it i'm going to go downstairs i'm going to chill i'm going to watch the super bowl later tonight i'll probably watch the halftime show i really hope that usher my number one favorite song from usher if he doesn't play it i will be horrified but it's numb by usher and actually I, I just heard that song again when i was in when i, I was in um, la last year which is crazy to say last year because it feels like i just was there but when i was in la it was playing inside of sephora the song was hitting so hard for me that i pulled out my little shazam and i was shazamming the song <laughs> it's so good just listen to numb go listen to numb Go listen to them. It's pretty good. So yeah, Usher's got some some classics. So hopefully this is a good halftime show. And so anyway, that's it for me today. See you tomorrow. Bye.